so hello, I'm Dylan. I'm a public health student at Drexel. And I came to GCC about seven years ago as an undergrad at Penn. Um, I don't know where I'm going to be after graduation, so hopefully it'll be in the area, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, um, in my journey to public health, Jesus' command to love God and others has been a major motivator. Like many incoming Penn students, I had the um, set in my mind of how I would change the world with grandiose expressions of that love by becoming a doctor or a researcher or... You get it. Um, but don't get me wrong, I still want to pursue a better world, but GCC has taught me that loving others often comes in the small sacrifice, sacrifices. Dying to rejection, to invite a friend or a stranger to church, as many have done for me in my walk. Sacrificing money to, for a meetup, laying down idols to walk, or to talk with a friend who's stressed out, or uh, simply um, sending out those late night ministry emails. Yeah. Um, and as many of us have experienced during Hospitality Week, um, love often expresses itself by simply opening the door, having a conversation, and being present. And I know I still have a lot to grow in these, in these ways and <coughs> in these expressions of love, but thank you for challenging me to do so. Um, though I knew Jesus before coming to GCC, GCC is really my first church community. In the middle of high school, I would bounce between churches depending on who would invite me or drive me, and, um, and I was always like an outsider looking in, and um, I would see that often these churches had high expectations for their pastors, or come to service, um, but, live out, but live their lives outside the churches with little concern for God. And often they would um, look dead to me, serving as cultural places to meet with family and friends. And I realized that uh, this perception is not true, uh, <laughs> but um, that we, um, yeah, some of the, and some of the same issues we get have here at GCC as well. But um, nevertheless, at GCC, we are the church. It's not some building to come to or some event on Wednesday um, to get away from stress or boredom at home, but as a community of believers gathered to worship God and encourage one another. And as much as each of us have, a, yeah, and as such, each of us has a stake in this great mission and the mission of, of this church. Mission isn't just about being a good Christian or, uh, or sorry, Missions isn't left to just the good Christians or the pastors, or, um, but every part of this beautifully flawed family. And I'm constantly encouraged as I see people ministering to one another um, as we actively fight sins in our, and lies in our lives. Thank you for being there for me in my darkest moments and caring enough to dig into my life. Um, I, see that, um, I see you reaching out to your friends and newcomers and telling the gospel with such delight in your eyes. Yeah, thank you for showing me uh, the beauty of the gospel. Some of you serve um, in the shadows, stepping up with a camera or a crock pot or car keys. Thank you for showing the love of God. Uh, being roommates with some of you or having the tight quarters on missions or retreats, I have witnessed your private worship, prayer, and Bible study that enables you to press on. Thank you for encouraging me to do the same. I have loved uh, sharing your dreams to evangelize to our campuses and work, um, sorry, end our world, and to opening opportunities for those at Jane Addams or Logan Hope. Thank you for inspiring us to hope, to faithfully anticipate, and to rejoice in the work of God. And sorry to keep uh, these experiences in generalities, but I mean, I've been here for seven years, so I don't, don't know how to really sum it up otherwise. Um, but, um, but at every moment, God has shown his faithfulness. Um, he has held on to me as I transitioned into college by bringing me to full measure of Penn's Christian Acapella group. Um, the president there um, brought me to GCC, and um, I've stuck around ever since. And I uh, think God used uh, my first two years as a, a great season of growth for me. Uh, my freshman year, I was baptized here. Um, but junior and senior years were as a struggle as I had to learn to trust God and um, to be able to, uh, as he led me to uh, attempt to serve in different capacities um, and to balance school and, and whatnot. And also fought with my identity as academics challenged my faith. I've had a, years of, or a year of recovery through my gap year and learned a lot about myself through working and a, a relationship. And over the last two years, I, um, as I faced that relationship faltering, uh, started my MPH program and uh, lost grandparents. I felt like I'd entered in a season of weariness and apathy. And even so, God has I used this church to draw me close and remind me that he's with me. Um, for instance, God challenged me to uh, sing, you came, <laughs> I knew that you would come um, after, uh, after those losses or uh, in the, that 
struggle of, yeah, that, in that prayer struggle. And how it, um, yeah, and the timeliness of the, ser the Soul Care series um, wouldn't have come at a better time. Further, many of you have prayed for me and encouraged me in this season, prophesying over me and revealing my heart. Others have encouraged me to get my stuff into gear or um, simply a friend to grab bubble tea or to watch Planet Earth. Uh, <laughs> and while at UCC, I've been, uh, I've seen God's faithfulness and presence, so I will trust in Him as I enter this next season. Um, my long, uh, my last lesson and challenge for you today, um, especially for those of you in school or in transition, is don't wait. Don't wait to get into medical school or have your job figured out or to be fully holy or um, or to put a ring on it. <laughs> God desires to be today. God desires to bring fullness and life in every season uh, to you, to your family, and to your peers. I found that living for the kingdom today, God has shown me what is truly important, giving me a giving me greater direction. After all, Proverbs 3, 6 says, In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Amen.